Hey good folks, Ran Ben Avram here with a real flow quick tip tutorial for you. And in today's quick tip tutorial, we are going to learn how to simulate a ball smashing into a window. A very common situation in the real world, which we can simulate very easily inside real flow. Let's first examine our scene. Let me zoom in here and make some room, perhaps. Okay, so over here we have got a floor. A window frame which I have modeled in Maya. Let's uh, zoom in to really appreciate it. A very simple model as you can see. And in this window frame we have got four windows. And as you can tell by their color, one of those windows is a separate mesh. And I've colored them in uh, different colors so we can uh, tell them apart more easily. Actually we might need to paint them a bit less bright. Let's do this one as well. Okay, that's better. First thing we want to do is to create our ball, which will smash the window. So we'll create a sphere. And let's see. Let's uh, move it up and backwards. And just to be sure that it's pointed straight at our window, take it to the top view by hitting 1. Okay, and that's the top view. Let's uh, zoom in here and there's the window, there's the ball. Let's uh, move it to about here. Okay, back to perspective view by hitting 4. Wonderful. We can even take it a bit backwards. Something of this sort should be fine. Okay. So let's see, we've got a window, we've got a floor, a ball, and a gravity node, which is, uh, well, it's uh, off screen. So first of all, we want to make sure that all the objects in our scene are dynamic and are affected by the gravity and one another. So the floor is dynamic, it's a passive rigid body. The window frame is a passive rigid body as well. The window which we intend to smash is a passive rigid body as well and we want to convert the ball to an active rigid body. We can either use active rigid body for a very hard ball such as a baseball or a soft body to have it uh, jiggle a bit but I'm more interested in the smashing part so we are going to make it an active rigid body. Now let's run a quick simulation and see how it goes. Basically, all that happened is that the ball fell down on the floor. So let's reset here. Okay, now let's see. We want the ball to hit the window very fast and very hard. We can animate its position or we can scroll down to the rigid body section. Under velocity, we have X, Y and Z parameters. Having a value in one of those parameters will give the ball an initial velocity. We want to give it a velocity at the Z axis on the minus Z axis to be exact. So that will be minus and I'll give it the amount of 200. So it will travel very fast. Let's simulate and see how it goes. Okay, let's stop the simulation, go back and let's take it frame by frame. So it's hard to see, but actually what's going on here is that the ball hits the window and bounces back really fast and that is actually because the velocity is extremely high so let's take it down a notch let's actually take it to minus uh, 50 reset and try this again and now you can actually see how the ball hits the window and then bounces back and that's not where we are really after we want the ball to hit the window and then smash it so let's reset, mark our window, and in order to smash our window, all we need to do is switch over to the Object Dynamic tab, which is right next to the Geometry tab, and we want to fracture the window mesh. So we'll hit on the Fracture tool. If I'll hit OK, we can see now the window is smashed into pieces, which doesn't actually look like a smashed window and if I'll run the simulation right now 
the window will break apart but the smashing pattern that we see here isn't a pattern that you would usually see in a glass window so let's control z here and i'll mark the window again and this time around i'll go to the fracture tool veronoi radial i do recommend that you dig in here but for this quick tip tutorial i'm just going to use this default settings we'll need to select a source so we'll click on this dotted button and we'll select the window mesh and hit OK and hit OK and now you can see the breaking pattern we got here is more logical a pattern you might expect to see in a breaking window so let's see first of all we can tell that we have got a new node here in the relationship editor and that is actually a new mesh that is based on the window mesh that Rufal created in multiple parts. So that means that the first mesh is still existing here. And in order for it not to interfere in the simulation, we first want to make it inactive and then hide it. And let's see. We want to make this mesh an active rigid body so that it would react to the ball. Now let's back up here a bit and let's run another simulation. And as you can see, the result here is much, much better. The ball hits the window and breaks it apart. And that's the basic way of how to smash a window in Reflow. If you would like to learn more about Reflow Dynamics, soft and rigid bodies simulations, be sure to check out my new course over at lynda.com on soft body simulations for motion graphics with Reflow. Once again, my name is Ram Ben Avraham, and I'll see you next time.